to do integral of secant to the fourth, since this is secant to an even power, what I want to do is pull out secant squared. And the idea is this is going to be my du. So I need to rewrite this in terms of tangent. Now from the Pythagorean identity, we know that secant squared is equal to uh, tan squared plus one. And I changed my variable from theta to x just out of habit. Don't, uh, don't worry about that. We'll just do it with x. So I got this. Now I want to let u equal, this is just a u substitution, let u equal tan x. So du is going to be secant squared x dx. So I can rewrite this now as u squared plus 1. And then this is just uh, du. And I get one third u cubed plus u plus c. And when I substitute back, I get one third of tan cubed x plus tan x plus c. That's the answer I get. I think that's the nicest looking answer. However, um, when I checked this in the back of the textbook, and this was from a different textbook, the book answer was different. The book answer was one third tan x secant squared x. Plus two thirds tan x. plus C. So they got this and I got that. So it would be nice if we could show that these are equivalent to each other. Um, and I'm going to do that from up here. On uh, If I take my answer, I'm going to convert it into theirs by uh, using an identity. So if I take my answer, I'm going to factor a tan x out of this. So I'm left with tan x times uh, 1 third tan squared plus 1 plus c. Now I'm going to replace this tan squared using a Pythagorean identity. Tan squared is equal to secant squared. minus 1 so if I distribute this through I get um, tan x times 1 third secant squared x and I get minus 1 third from here and then plus 1 so together that's a plus 2 thirds and then if you distribute the tan through, you get one-third secant squared x tan x plus two-thirds tan x plus c, which is what they got for their book answer. Now, personally, I think my answer looks nicer because it just has um, a tan and a tan. This one has a tan, a tan, and a secant squared. But they're both right.